Hi everyone, Paolo here, so welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. On this channel, I make how-to videos uh, from Mac tips, back-end stuff, uh, Swift development, uh, Salesforce, and recently game development. So in this video, we're going to learn how to build Unreal Engine 5 from the source. Uh, the reason I want to do this is because I'm stuck with a problem where every time I do a build for a mobile, for iOS, it's complaining that it was built using uh, iOS 14.4 when I'm actually trying to build it for uh, iOS 15. So I'm going to try to install from the source, have a look around as well, and figure out what's wrong and how I could fix this. So check that out. Okay, so first thing that you need is to uh, have an Unreal Engine or Epic account. So you could sign into your um, account if you haven't uh, signed up yet. Um, it's free. So I already have an account for this. So I'm just going to sign in with my account. Cool. Uh, once you get into your account, you could go under Personal. And under personal there's a section here called connections under connections click on accounts and from there you would see github so the next piece of account that you need is you need to have github so i already have github um, so for you for the first time you would see a connect button here once you connect to that you'll be able to uh, be added to uh, the epic organization so I already connected mine. Uh, this is my GitHub account. And under here, I have an organization. So this is part of the Epic Games. So when I click on Epic Games, under here, there's a bunch of repository. Uh, what I'm interested in is the Unreal Engine because we want to build from the source. So uh, grab that. Um, and then from here, you could copy um, which uh, cloning mechanism you want to do either HTTPS or SSH so grab that and then uh, open up the terminal uh, you should already have git installed on your machine if you have Xcode installed if you don't have git you could check out my tutorial on how to install the uh, command line tools so open up the terminal and then simply say uh, go to the directory where you want to uh, save uh, this git repository so for example you could go to I'm just gonna go to my desktop and say git clone and then paste the URL and that would uh, download the repository to your machine so I already have that um, clone on my machine so I won't do that again um, but from here on github you would see there are like 66 branches in here so if I open that um, the one that got released as well, the one labeled release and then you have uh, several active branches here UE5 as mentioned on the readme is um, for active development it's not stable uh, but if you want to check out new features or something uh, you could check that out uh, and then some other uh, master here is all um, about the version uh, Unreal Engine 4 so it does not even do with uh, UE5 only release is UE5 um, so let me go back here and under here there's a readme section so it will tell you uh, yep like what the branches are and what you could if you want to see early access branch uh, you could check that as well um, and then the master branch is reserved for the UE5. So to get started on a Mac, uh, either you have GitHub for Mac or you have the Git client as I mentioned. Um, you need to have Xcode um, and then this is the first step for uh, setting up. So I already have downloaded that. So this is the actual repository on my machine. Um, let me open this. Uh, in here and I say get status it would tell me which branch I'm on and if I am sync up with the um, uh, repository or the remote repository so I'm on the release branch so the first thing I want to do is click on this command uh, so from instructions double click the uh, setup command 
and that should run some scripts some setup scripts uh, and then check for dependencies so because I already ran it earlier it's um, more quicker on my side on your side it might take several minutes to complete so once that is done you could close that out let me close this other window out so the next command to run is the generate project files dot command so double click on that and it will start um, generating the unreal engine 5 project files so this may take some time on your machine as well i'm just gonna let it run cool one this is done you would notice that there is now a ue5 workspace uh, project created so double click on that uh, to open up xcode cool if you're using uh, xcode um, 13 point 4.1 um, if you click on this hammer icon over here you would see the it would say that the build system is the legacy build system and soon to be deprecated in the future uh, you could keep that as is or you could change it to the new build system so I'm gonna go ahead with the new build system and click on done I should get rid of that um, there's two steps that you want to do uh, before you run the actual UE5 um, so I'm gonna select shader from this target I'm gonna select shader compiler worker if you're running on Intel machine uh, select the my Mac if you're running on one of the uh, Apple silicon chips uh, select my Mac Rosetta so select that and then go on product and click on build uh, you could go here on uh, the show report navigator to check on the status of that uh, build so this may take a couple of minutes cool so the shader compile worker build has been successful uh, you can go ahead on the next step so the next step is go back to UE5 and select my Mac Rosetta go to product and do a build now this build um, would take some time um, there are like 5,000 components that needs to be built in here uh, depending on your machine uh, it could be quicker um, so after this build is done I'll resume back this tutorial cool so I think I found a clue on why my build on Unreal Engine is being built on iOS 14.4 uh, instead of iOS 15 um, I might have to look at into this later so it's saying it cannot find the folder lib-xcode 13.4.1 which is the latest xcode that I have and it defaulted to xcode 12.4 uh, Cool, so I'm gonna resume the tutorial once it's finished. It's starting to do its thing. Uh, the Unreal Editor is initializing. So I notice I didn't launch it from the Epic Game Launcher. I launched it from inside Xcode. So this might take a while. Um, it's compiling the shaders and it's doing it one by one. Uh, the version from the current release is 5.0.3. Awesome, so there you go, Unreal Engine just opened up and I could see my previous um, projects that I built using Epic Game Launcher. Let's see if I open this, if it would open correctly. Oh man, I can hear the fan on this uh, M1, I'm kind of pushing it to the limits because it's running Xcode and it's running Unreal Engine 5 at the same time. Cool, there you go. So it looks like it's working, so probably out of resource on this machine at the moment, but it looks like it's working. So I was able to open that same project that I have on the one that I built from the source. So I'm gonna stop this.
I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna quit Xcode. And if you wanna launch the Unreal Engine editor, go back to the source folder uh, where you have on your local machine, go Unreal, under Unreal Engine on the engine folder, then go on binaries, then go on Mac. And now you would see that there are few more uh, applications in here and files so one of them is the unreal editor so if you open this this is the same thing as launching from the um, xcode so because it's already compiled the shaders earlier it's launching a bit faster there you go uh, this one was built using this version of unreal engine so you could cancel this quit this you want to add it to your dock here so you could access it anytime so that's the so that's the tutorial on how to uh, build unreal engine from the source hope you like this video thumbs up thumbs down uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel